We were volunteers. First of all, let's get this straight. We were definitely volunteers. Nobody made us join. And as a group, we were certainly together. That is, we acted together as a unit, a unifying force. Life was difficult. Let it never be said it was not hard. The simplicity of the task at hand, how the rhythm of each day, although repetitive, made it somehow bearable. Memory soon became distant. Then there was the silence. Although there were the crashes and the howling, the creaking and groaning became like silence, as if not there. The endless rhythm that was not a rhythm in the sense of beats, that is regular beats, a measurement of time in rhythm, that rhythm of crash, cheese, splash, screech and groan, a gentle tapping out of time. This was without a doubt a counterpoint to our actions or even our thoughts or lack of thoughts. You could say our thoughts became unified. Each of us in our part we embraced this. Then after a space of time it began to dissolve. The seed of doubt befell us. And who could say what was that first kernel of doubt, the tiny speck of rot, in the center of the apple. Once there, impossible to stop. If we were the apples within the barrel, so to speak, inert and unconscious, as we were, then once the rot began to grow and spread, we had no say in the matter. In fact, it was matter of fact, something very dull and inconsequential. This slipping away of the unity. We were truly unaware of its coming, its growing. The flowering of the ending was quite beautiful in its process. The ending was an everyday thing, just normal. Nothing to sound about. And so the similarity of the beginning, middle and end were notable. There was actually no great difference between any of the parts.